Pan and man, it's your boy Papa Duck, man, back with another video, man. Very, very important. This is gonna blow y'all mind. Please tune in. If you're on YouTube, man, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. And when you're done, hit that like button so they can show the video to more people. Also, look below, you'll see all our merch. Everything y'all buy for our merch store, all proceeds goes to the channel. We pay for all different type of ads. This is how we spread our message, and we need all the help we can get. Listen, I got a video today for y'all that's gonna blow y'all mind. Two words, individualism and collectivism. Now, some of y'all may have heard of that. Some of y'all may have never heard of that. But I'm going to show y'all the world we live in, just how far these people will go to control your ass. This is why when you hear women say, oh, I did it on my own. I did it without a man. This is why I get so pissed off because I understand this. And if you think I'm just talking, go look up individualism and go look up collectivism. And you may not want to say that again. Okay? And it's not just that. America, like I said, is the most individualistic country in the world. These people bred us to do everything on our own. These people breed us to be as one individual and not being doing doing and not doing things collectively. There's power in numbers, bro. Okay? I'm trying to tell y'all, like, listen, I'm Haitian, right? Back in the days, Haitian women would bathe you. I mean, bathe me, will feed me. They don't do that no more. Because when you come over here in America, boy, you Americanized. They strip you from all your culture. Now you starting to see why a lot of times our like relationships and just different things don't go as planned. Because guess what? We've been bred into another man's or another group of people's ideologies to live the way they want us to live so that we can further be controlled, man. Individualism and collectivism is real. Okay. When you see like, and this is no disrespect, right? When you see Spanish or Mexican people and they all living in one house, that's collectivism. That's collectivism. We, 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 people used to pick at that sometimes. But what you got to understand, there's power in numbers. Okay? I got a book that I'm reading. Finally got a book that I'm not reading. I'm sorry. I got a book that I'm writing. I'm sorry. I got a book that I'm writing finally. And I'm going to tell y'all this. This book going to blow y'all mind. When I speak on individualism and collectivism, I want y'all to understand this. If it's four of y'all in the house, meaning it's four brothers, one sister, three brothers, however it is, it's four of y'all total. There's no way in the hell y'all should go outside the house to go get a job and work for somebody else. It don't make no sense. But guess what? When you living in an in a individualistic society like we do in America, you think like that. You basically, and think about what I'm finna say, you basically finna go out and work for somebody else to build up their empire when you could do the same damn thing for yourself. All the things we do in America, we've been bred to do it, okay? Think about what I'm saying, bro. When you get other people from other countries that come in here, they don't do that shit. You will never see Chinese people do that. Arabs do that. You will never see it, but we'll do it all day long and be proud of it because you got a lot of people that's so, so, you know, so patriotic. But what I'm telling you is individualism is real. And what I'm saying is this, when you living in America, you've been taught to do everything on your own. Me, 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 you know, me, 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 I, I, I. And this is why when you hear a woman say, I did it without a man, I did it all by myself. Bro, this is exactly what I'm talking about. But when you don't have a proper education, and there's no disrespect to nobody, it's not. We're here to help each other. We're here to put light on the shit that need to be that they need light putting on. And a lot of times we be like, damn, how do we end up in this situation? Bro, you in the you like relationships, you in a society that's not relationship friendly. No one thought of that. Why you think it's so hard to be in a relationship these days? This is not the night. This is not 1950, when we all we had was each other. Come on, man. Individualism and, and collectivism is real, okay. And I'm just scratching the surface. A lot of stuff I speak on, I scratch the surface. I want y'all to do y'all own research on it, and I want y'all to see that these are real tactics. These are real curriculums that these people use against us every day. So when you be quick to say, "Oh," I don't need you all. I did it on my own. Bro, you've been bred to believe that. And we living in a society that accepts that shit. 
okay? It's crazy, bro. If it's four brothers, like I was saying earlier, four brothers, four sisters, two sisters, two brothers, I don't care if it's two of y'all, three of y'all, four of y'all, whatever. Y'all should go create a business. And if you don't have the money to, go work. Save up, stay your ass in one house. We be picking about these, how Mexican people will stay in one house and all, but they was living together. Collectivism. Okay? This is law. This is something that you think about and know. Because we'll move out the house and be dead ass broke and don't even own that shit. Just to say, ah, I got my own this. I got my own that. Listen, if it's four of y'all, two of y'all, however many of y'all siblings, if y'all can't, if y'all ain't got the money to start a business, go work. Stay in that one house, put that money back into that one house until y'all able to fund that business and y'all go to work for that business. I don't give a damn if it take you five years, two years, three years. Work for that business till the first person move out. Then the second person move out as the business get bigger. Third person move out as the business get bigger. You get what I'm saying? We got to come back to the to the foundation like as far as family goes. Blood thickening and water. I used to say that shit too. In a fucked up society it is. But you cannot go nowhere else where blood is thicker than water. Where all we got is family. These people will kick you out their family. Italians will kick you out their family. If you ain't doing the right thing to uphold that last name. Give me back my last name. Get your ass out my uh, family. This shit is like breeding dogs. You're not going to put a, a fucked up bloodline into your mix. Okay? You're not going to do it. This is why royal people, and I ain't going to even say royal people. This is where, this is where um, marriages has even come from. If you see on coming to America, he could not marry who he wanted to marry. They had to pick somebody for him. Why? Because that family, uh, based off the shit they went through to protect their heirs, to protect their their their, their uh they 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 lane they name to protect all the the fortunes that they have they're not gonna let you just run out there grab some anybody just because you in love to come back and breed into their family they're not gonna do that and I know a lot of people gonna say oh you should be able to marry who you want to be able to marry you should be able to do that all that shit makes sense in a fucked up society we've been raised in America which is a fucked up society that's why we think fucked up okay. What I'm trying to tell you is this, bro. We should be family bound first. Okay? Your family should be everything you need. And, and like I say, if you was raised up that way, then that would it would be. So I don't say, oh no, family, this family. It's just because we in a fucked up society. And it's gonna continue to be that way as long as we continue to let it happen. But what I'm just let me get back to what I'm saying. When you're in an individual, individual, um, listic society like America, you think as an individual. You don't think as, as, it shouldn't be no one breadwinner in the family. It should be multiple breadwinners. It should be multiple. This, and the thing about it now, one side of your brain saying, this nigga making a lot of fucking sense. It's common sense, bro. Another side of your brain is saying, I don't know about that. Because you was raised in a society to think that way. When you're in a society that's collectivism, when family all we got, this is how you brought up. Like I tell you, if you raise a dog to be a killer, he's going to be a killer. If you raise a dog to obey, he's going to obey. These people know this, you don't. So when you're in a society where you don't control no curriculums in school, you don't control your, you don't control your basic necessities, food, water, and shelter, they do. So they can bring you up how the fuck they want to bring you up. That's why common sense ain't so common to a lot of people. But anyway, let me get back to what I'm saying. It should be to the point where that family provides for that family, okay? But like I say, we need to get back to uh, grooming our family to be the best that it can be. Not based off what we know. Script all that. Because it makes sense. Like, you shouldn't be fighting with your brother. You shouldn't be fighting with your cousin. You shouldn't be fighting with your sister. Bro, we do that shit on an everyday basis like that shit. Cool, man. That's fucked up, man. That is fucked up, bro, to even think like that. Bro, I got, I'm got. i smart enough to know we shouldn't be living like this. Something wrong. Individualism, collect, collectivism. If we practice collectivism, okay, we will come together. This is by law. Meaning, I can't betray my family for you. I have to come back to my family and talk about this. We should have a house in our family... Well, what, what is what our offsprings, which are our kids, if our kids find someone that they, they love and we approve of it, 
okay? And that's however you want to do it. You know, like I say, in a world today, people don't give a fuck who they approve of. They love who they love, but that's why we so fucked up in some cases. But let's say you find somebody that you love. We should have a house in our family where y'all two can come. Long as y'all abide by the rules. Can't be no just laying up no anything. You working for the family business for two years. You can stay here rent free. Get your weight up. Get your credit up. And when you move out, you should have everything you need. And on to the next sibling. Children. Or grandkids or whatever the case may be. Bro. How is it something that we know makes sense not being done? We do the total opposite. We don't help each other. We talk bad about each other. We put each other down. But yet we want to uphold and be like, oh, why we this? Why people, niggas can't do this. Bro, this is why. Because we let another motherfucker teach us how to fucking be. It'll never happen. Common sense should tell you the motherfucker that oppress you will never give you the tools to overthrow them. You must come together on your own. You can't afford to tell your brother, fuck off. Your sister, go to hell. You can't afford that. Because when you break away from your family, now you put yourself in a position to be taken advantage of. Because you now you're going out, and I know y'all going to say, well, I can go outside and get more love from other people then. Bro, it don't make sense. Because you could go out and get that love. What about your kids? What about if you die and you can't leave them nothing? The same relationship that you have, your kids may not have with them people. You need to build a family foundation, business, okay? When kids come into this world, they need 80% of the resources to survive, unlike black folks. Majority of us, I'm talking about a low percentage. We ain't got a damn thing. And we having kids left and right, kids coming into this world, ain't got a damn thing to hold on to. And you wonder why motherfuckers run around here robbing and take, they ain't got nothing, motherfucker. Individualism. This is something the government uses against us on a daily basis, man. This shit, like, don't nothing ring a bell? You mean to tell me don't nothing ring a bell in your head and say, man, this dude saying something right? Bro, all I'm saying is this, right? We're living in a world where we don't control nothing. So we, the more we look for the government to help us, the more you put yourself in a vulnerable state. That shit don't make no sense. Why you think a motherfucker claim he a gangster, he'll kill a nigga, but he's scared of the police? That ain't backwards. That ain't backwards. Everything we see around us is so fucked up, but we accept it as if we don't see it. Explain that. Please explain that to me. All I'm saying is this. We need to practice collectivism. We need to practice as a group. As a, as a, as a, as not just, um, not just as a group when you in church or, or, or when you living in this town or you a part of that group. No, I'm talking about starting with your family first, man. Foundation. Cause like I say, we should work and get a business. Somebody got to sacrifice for the fucking family. Somebody got to sacrifice for the family. So when the offsprings come into this world, the kids, the kids, 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 they got something to hold on to as far as resources. When you look at motherfucking Hershey's or you look at Wells Fargo, what it say? Since the 1818s, this old money. This old money. And, they got, and, and, and another thing, when you see a motherfucker holding up all this money and spreading money out across their arms, that's the stupidest shit in the world because money ain't shit. Okay? Credit will take you further. And another thing, real money, you can't see it. Warren Buffett will never see his money. Okay, Elon Musk will never see his money. Real money, you can't see it. But what I'm telling you is this. If we don't come together, right? And like I say, with these seeds. If we don't come together and show them seeds how it is. Because when you, when you pass 40, motherfucker, 35, 40, they done already got you up here. A lot of us anyway. So a lot of us is unlearning and relearning. But for them seeds who haven't gone through that 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 process yet, we gotta catch them before they go through it, and teach them. That's your brother. You can find your brother first. If you got four kids, the oldest always in charge, and if that oldest ain't around, the next oldest in charge. We have to teach these to these kids, because once they go to that school system and they get that poison, and they teach them that individualism, 
You, you, you. I, I, I. And this is how it's going to be. Should be one breadwinner in the house. We all should be breadwinners. And, and I'm speaking from a new way of doing things. I'm not speaking from the old way. Because based off the old way, you're going to think this shit crazy. Because you've been taught a certain way. Scrap that. We're talking about brand new. If that's your brother, that's your sister, your cousin, we fend for family first. And once we do that amongst ourselves as a family, foundation-wise, it will spring out into the world. All I'm doing is scratching the surface, bro. I could do a, I could do a thousand videos about individualism and collectivism. And if y'all know exactly where I'm coming from, man, put your comments on the bottom of this bitch, man. Don't make me be out here by myself because sometimes I be like, damn. Collectivism and individualism. Go research it. It is real, okay? This is a real thing. They not going to teach you this in school. They want you to be an individualist. They want you to think on your own. Get your own car. Get your own house. You don't need nobody. It's power in numbers. If you take one toothpick, you can bust that, break that bitch up in 10 pieces. Do 20 of them like that. Take 20 toothpicks and see if you can break it. We talking laws of physics, bro. Common sense, bro. So all I'm trying to say is this, bro. We need to change the way we see things. And we need to take back our own way of living. Okay, all these fucked up school systems, the curriculums, y'all need to see who are the people behind these school systems, the Rockefellers and all these motherfuckers who spent cash money to buy influence, to change curriculums, to make us uh, obedient. They want hard workers. Oh, just work hard. You'll get to the top. Man, that's some bullshit. You working hard while he in the office playing golf. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And to a certain degree, like I tell y'all, this shit ain't got nothing to do with no color. Think about what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck if you white, black, whatever. This shit attack all of us at some point. So all I'm saying is this, man. Y'all change that, change it up, man. We got to change it up. You feel what I'm trying to say? Because if we keep leaving it up to them, we're going to keep going down the same path. And like they say, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, that is insanity. Okay? And like I always tell y'all, man. In order for your ass to be found, your ass must first be lost.